Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make drill drums in FL Studio. Let's get into it. Okay, so just to be clear, this is going to be for UK style or Brooklyn style drill. I'm going to show you the rhythm that you need to do, the samples you need to use, how you want to mix it, a couple different effect techniques, and then what kind of beat you can make. I'll build out a little sample beat at the end. First things first, get your samples. You're not going to have good samples in FL Studio, and that's just how it is. You're going to have to go to Splice or something like that. These are the ones I pulled. A slamming kick, a really hard knocking sort of rim style snare almost, a couple of hi-hats. And then I just do this ting in there for good measure. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the most important thing, which is the hi-hat rhythm. There's two things that define drill drums. One is the hi-hat rhythm, and then the other is going to be the snare pattern. So first off, we'll just go ahead and start with that hi-hat rhythm. I'm going to do it on this secondary one here. I've got them all split up into different channels. And this is going to be the general pattern. I'll play it so you can hear how that sounds. I got that on loop. Turn that off. And then go ahead and do that again. This is what gives it that bounce that makes drill so popular. It's that quick sort of rhythm. So this is uh, this is a good start. This is going to give the feel to the beat. Let's go ahead and add in that kick and snare. So the snare is the other thing that's going to throw you off. Instead of just regular trap music, you're going to be adding it in different spots. So the first one's going to be the same. The second one is going to be pushed back a beat, something like this. And um, I'll probably throw that one there. So you can go ahead and push it back a beat, or you can just arrange it differently. Generally, what you're doing is you're making room for those 808 rolls that are so prominent in drill music, uh, having that tail end of the measure just be left open for a crazy sort of 808 fill. Trying to find some different places I can put that snare. Maybe right there. That sounds nice. Kind of blends in with the kick. And you're going to want to have an offset rhythm for your other hi-hat. I'm going to turn that one down because I know it's pretty loud. You have to excuse me, I've generally been playing them in in Logic, so FL Studio clicking things in is a little bit uh, not normal for me.
All right, so I think that's a pretty good spot. What you're looking for is that main rhythm that I showed you earlier, and then fill it in so you can make it a little smoother, a little bouncier. And you can either put distortion on the whole thing or just on the hi-hats, but definitely crisp it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on some delay. We'll just use delay three here. Whoops, um, I guess delay two. Let's try that for now. And then turn your feedback down. And then turn your input down too. So some distortion on there. Let's use fast distortion for now. And then use some EQ to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna pan it so it's a little more centered. All right, and that's it. That's how you do drill drums in FL Studio. Next, I'm going to go ahead and build out a beat. I'll use basically this exact same pattern and drums just so you can see what you can do with a beat like this. Thanks for watching. Listen to this sample. I'll catch you on the next one.